a sleeping bag has to be big enough to get inside and zip up. So this one is definitely big enough for me. Now, a sleeping bag doesn't have any heat of its own, but our bodies make heat. So a sleeping bag keeps us warm by trapping the heat we make from our bodies inside the bag. And a sleeping bag can be made of lots of different materials, like down feathers from geese or ducks, or man-made material like polyester. But how does a sleeping bag trap the heat we make from our bodies inside the bag? Well, to find out, we're going to have to take a closer look. A sleeping bag is made up of different layers of material, like a sandwich. On the outside is a smooth protective layer called nylon. On the inside is an insulation layer made from a material called polyester. The polyester insulation layer is made up of compartments called baffles. The baffles hold the polyester in place to make sure that the bag stays warm all over. Polyester is made up of millions of tiny fibres that all crisscross together, and the air is trapped in between these fibres. When our warm bodies get inside the sleeping bag, our body heat warms the air inside too. The polyester insulation layer traps the warm air inside the bag and stops it escaping. It also keeps the cold from outside and the cold from the ground from coming in. Keeping our body nice and warm all night long. <laughs> Isn't it clever how the different layers work together to keep us warm? Shall we see what they look like? This here is the outer layer. It's thin, but tough and it's water resistant. So it will stop water and damp from getting inside. And then this here is the insulation layer. That's the part with all of the fibres that will trap our body heat to keep us warm. To see the sleeping bags in action, I'm going to use my special camera. It's called a thermal camera, and it shows us how hot or cold things are. I've got two sleeping bags that are exactly the same, and I'm going to get inside one of them and warm up and leave the other one empty. What do you think's going to happen? Let's switch the thermal camera on to find out. Getting into a sleeping bag is easy. You just need to undo a zip. Oh, I like that sound. Can you hear that? <laughs> it's a really long zip. Now we just need to get in. And zip myself in. This hood at the top will trap in heat to keep my head warm. And if it's really cold, I can pull this little toggle here. So just my face pokes out the top. Right, there we go. Just need to stay in here for a few minutes to warm it up. Wriggling about is a good way to get warm quickly. It's really warm. <laughs> right, time's up. Let's see how warm the inside of this sleeping bag is. Look at that! The sleeping bag that I was in is glowing bright red and that's because it is really warm. That insulation layer has trapped all of my body heat. And the empty sleeping bag is yellow. That's because it is much cooler. <laughs> how brilliant is that? What did you like most about seeing how sleeping bags work? Do you remember what you call the layer of material that stores all the heat? That's right, it's the insulation layer. And did you hear the sound the zip made when I got inside? And did you see how my body heat changed the colour of my sleeping bag on the thermal camera? It changed to bright red. 